Star Vehicle, if you don't know what it's about, what it is is a, uh, uh, a movie driver, a guy that drives cast to set, that type of thing, who sort of has a um, infatuation with one of the cast members. And he has a little bit of a conflict with the, the director of the movie. So the, the Star Vehicle, is there's a movie within him in the movie, and then there's the movie that uh, Don Cardini makes, who's played by Dan Ellis, who is in Gutter Balls and uh, Hanger. Great actor. Uh, so he's the star of this one. Um, there's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely a, it's a funny film. I mean, it's not... It's definitely campy and that type of thing. So if you're a fan of Tromo and that type of thing, which I'm sure you are, you'll you'll dig this stuff. It's uh, it has sort of a shot on video uh, '80s feel to it. Stuff like I was talking to Brendan about Tim Ritter and Killing Spree and uh, Truth or Dare and those kind of movies. It's kind of similar to that, but you guys will be the judge. It's got some nastiness in it. I'm sure you'll all want to see. Uh, in any case, thank you for all showing up. When I'm not making these nasty movies, uh, I'm actually teaching, and I teach uh, makeup effects in Vancouver. And this movie I made in conjunction with the place that I teach, because not only can I use all the effects stuff, I can also have talent from the acting uh, group there. So uh, this movie is a combined effort of New Image Entertainment and uh, Plot Digger Films, and New Image has given me a, another chance, even after Star Vehicle, to make another movie. I have a movie called Famine, which is coming out sometime next year, which we shot, which is a total gore fest. It's probably the goriest movie I've ever made. Um, and basically, you know, we do this out in Vancouver, so if any of you guys are interested in filmmaking, uh, acting, or makeup, or whatnot, look us up. It's New Image Entertainment. That's, that's what we do. We make these kind of things. So it's pretty cool getting to learn how to act and all that kind of stuff from people that do it and getting to be directed by freaks like me and that type of stuff. <laughs> So anyways, okay, so uh, that's what I would like to say um, and enjoy the movie. Let's get it going here. The first one, we're doing a short film called Forest, which is inspired by a true thing that happened. Amir, my, my buddy in the back there, directed this uh, and it gives you a taste of what, uh, what we do at the school and stuff and it's an awesome little short film. Okay, so let's, uh, let's rock and roll. Thanks guys for coming out, appreciate it. I'd say it's definitely the movie to see for first-time viewers of this film. It, it was enjoyable. Uh, actually, I thought it was very good. I missed the very, very beginning of it, but I enjoyed the, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I'm a big fan of that type of film, so uh, like I said, I really enjoyed it. Actually, I didn't know what to expect, and the ending actually had a nice little twist to it too. So the writing was better than I expected. I know it was a blast. Yeah, normally you never know what to expect with you know a uh, shorter, uh, smaller budget indie flick but yeah no it was good and gross and a lot of fun uh, I thought it was really good um, it was very Ryan Nicholson but not at the same time um, very different from his usual style he seemed to focus a lot more on the character development rather than the sleaze you know to put it bluntly um, but yeah it was good star vehicle was lots of fun uh, I love the lead loves I love him in everything he's been in this was really cool it was a little bit different a little bit edgier uh, a lot of fun, and boobs, blood, gore, all the essentials intact. The movie was pretty good. Um, I thought that that main actor, he was very good in his role. I just saw Star Vehicle, and it was freaking amazing. I was with a buddy, and we were just enjoyed the entire movie. It had everything we were looking for in a movie, tits, gore, blood, violence. Great movie. Just Even the story wasn't as bad as you'd think. Totally can't be everything you'd expect in one of these sort of movies. and. Geez, I'll be totally looking up New Image Entertainment and uh, Plot Digger Films in the future and see what else I can find from them. Uh, big thanks to Ryan Nicholson and everyone involved, and it was just awesome. So thank you guys. 